Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Jenny and this is our Houston Smith home. So I took off last week, 4th of July, we were going on a camping trip. And so I just took the week off. I figured a lot of you might've been on vacations too and doing things with family and all of that. So I thought I'm just gonna take that week off, have a little down week, but we're back at it this week. I'm about to hit up Hobby Lobby. For one thing, I haven't been in there since like early spring. And so I just wanted to go in there and browse and just kind of see what they had. And then also for another thing, I have this storage ottoman that I recovered a few years ago. It's kind of like in that ticking stripe material and it's just very farmhouse and I'm a little bit transitioning away to just sort of a more neutral palette just for my everyday furniture and stuff like that. So I want to look for some new fabric to recover that and I'll take you along with me. And I'm even thinking about maybe getting some new feet for the bottom of the ottoman and replacing those with a little bit different look and just kind of get a look for less. Cause I see some of these storage ottomans and they're very pricey and I really like to have this one. I've had it since my boys were little and when they were little, I would throw toys in it. So it's been very handy. Stay tuned, I'll show you, take you along and we'll do that little DIY. But also we're just gonna shop Hobby Lobby first, browse through, see what we can find. I think they may even already be putting out fall stuff. I'm not ready for fall yet, but I have found a lot of times in these stores, if you see something that you like early on and you think you might want it or need it, you better grab it because this stuff gets sold out and they just don't restock it. So let's go shopping. Let's browse Hobby Lobby, see what we can find and stick around for the end and we'll do that little DIY together. First of all, I love to browse through all of the florals and of course I was sucked in by all of these fall colors. They did already have out a lot of fall florals. They were 40% off. Like I said, it's a little too early for me to be thinking about fall, so I'm not going to make this video about fall, but these colors just sort of drew me in, so I thought I would just quickly walk down through this aisle and show you a few things. I thought these were really pretty. They look very similar to some more expensive ones. Um, I just thought that color was really nice. And I'm going to need something for my tall floor vase. Y'all remember the one that I did the DIY? I got it from the thrift store. So I thought these might be pretty there. $11.99 for one stem, but it is 40% off. All of the vases over here and vessels were 50% off this week. Just keep in mind, usually if it is 50% off one week, it won't be the next, um, usually every other week. So just keep that in mind if you're shopping for something in particular. I just love all of their different little vases here. That one could be used. You see where people use the Walmart ones and put a little candle in there? I'm pretty sure the candle would fit in that one. 50% off, that is so cheap and so cute. They have some really unique pieces. Um, some just looks like actually like pottery. They look very expensive. Um, and then again, at 50% off, um, I just feel like it's usually your best deal to get things like this here. I'm a sucker for wood accents, wood cutting boards, things like that. And I feel like they always have just some really unique ones here. I love the shape of some of these. Usually you can catch them for 50% off. And I mean, what a steal, 50% off of $7.99. I like to use these kind of as a little backdrop on my hutch when I'm decorating my hutch. They're also really nice to use if you have like an all white kitchen or open shelving in your kitchen. They have literally every shape and size imaginable. Look at that huge one. That would be good if you were doing like a charcuterie board, um, some type of entertaining, a baby shower, wedding showers, things like that. It would be really good to invest in these. And I mean, half price, they are just so cheap. Thank you. 
I thought these wooden vases were pretty. They had a couple of different shapes, pretty good size. Now I saw a similar one of these at Walmart. This one was 50% off of $40, so $20. Saw a similar one at Walmart. I think it might've been a little bit smaller though, and it wasn't quite so shiny. It was more of just a raw wood look. This aisle already was some of the fall stuff out, but I still like to look on these seasonal aisles because you can just find stuff that you can use every day. This looks identical to my Walmart dough bowl. Um, and so it is 40% off. All the fall stuff is already out, a lot of it, and is 40% off. But like I said, some of these pieces you can just use every day. Um, they have these large dough bowls. I am a sucker for a dough bowl. I love them. Now, I do have that scalloped one from Walmart. I think it was $14.99 at Walmart, but they have a variety of sizes here. And then look how cute this little wicker pumpkin is. But I said I'm not going to get sidetracked with fall, so let's move on. They did still have quite a few outdoor planters left. They are all 50% off. They had some really large sizes. I like some of these because they feel like they would be like concrete or like a really heavy ceramic, and they're not. They're just really lightweight, but they have that really high-end look. And then they did have some, of course, that were heavy ceramic. They were a little bit more expensive, but again, you can get them for 50% off, so not too bad. I love to check out the mirrors at Hobby Lobby. I think they have the prettiest mirrors. This floor length arch mirror was gorgeous. It had this really pretty wood um, trim on it, pretty thick trim. And it was $249.99, but everything in the spring shop was marked 50% off. So $125 for that large mirror, that is a great deal. Okay, I did not see that these were 50% off, but what a steal on these bowls. The scalloped edges just have my heart. $10.99, imagine if you could get that 50% off, but I thought those would be the nicest fruit bowls sitting out on your counter. They would be so cute, and I don't know. I'm just a sucker for scalloped edges lately. I just think it's so pretty and dainty, so then I came across another little scalloped tray here. I almost thought about getting this for my coffee bar area, but I was afraid that it really just wouldn't fit it really wouldn't work out but again if you could get that for half price even not half price I feel like these are priced very well um, but if you could get that for 50% off what a steal so I've been looking for a different little basket like this to go in my boys bathroom I have an accordion hook in there but y'all, I feel like these prices are just too much on these. That smaller one, the larger one, $37.99, even though they are 50% off, I just felt like those prices were still a little bit too steep for me. I found this candle holder. I love the look of this. This is so unique. I think it's so pretty. It kind of has like that brass handle look, and then you could put your taper candle in there, and then it has the wooden bottoms. This was $11.99, which I didn't think was a bad price at all, but those were not 50% off on this particular week. These baskets were so pretty. I was thinking these would be so nice if you had like a faux olive tree or some kind of faux plant to sit it down in these, but they had a variety of sizes, like three different sizes, and I thought they were priced good. I don't think they were 50% off. Yes, they were. They were 50% off on this week, but just think about those. If you have any kind of faux plants, faux trees, things like that, you can look here, and then I found another little scalloped box. This could just be a little storage been 50% um, off. They had a variety of sizes on those too, and those would just be so cute, and then you could just throw toys or whatever in there for storage. I thought all these darker colored wicker baskets and stuff made me think of the new Studio McGee line at Target. I noticed they had a lot of the darker colors. Then I came across this round black scalloped tray. That would be so cute on a coffee table. Um, I really didn't need it, so I passed, but I just loved that. I was really drawn to it, and I thought it would look really good on my coffee table. So really the whole purpose of this trip is I was looking for some fabric to recover that ottoman. If you remember in the beginning of the video, I was kind of looking for some of this boucle fabric, if that's how you say it. That's sort of what I had envisioned and what I had in mind. This was a nice thick fabric. It was expensive though, $24.99 for one yard, um, but it was 40% off and that is the fabric I was looking for. I found this one that was a little bit similar and it was cheaper. It was only $15.99 a yard and then of course 40% off, but it just didn't quite have the texture and the softness that I was wanting. I almost got it, but I still went with the one that I knew I wanted and I went ahead and just got that boucle one that I showed you earlier. 
All right, I'm back home. I'm going to get started on recovering the ottoman. First up, I'm just taking off these feet because like I said, I am going to replace them. I've ordered some bun feet and I'll show you those whenever they come in. But first up, just going to take these feet off and we'll get started. I'll show you a couple of things that I'm going to use. The only thing I'm going to need is a staple gun and just some staples. And then also I possibly might use my glue gun. I'll show you at the end um, kind of how I did this other one is I just glued the seam once I got to the end I just glued it right there and that worked out well so I may use the glue gun here and I'm just going to go ahead and take off the staples that I already had in there because well I'm a perfectionist and so that little uh black trim piece cover piece on the bottom I like for that to go over my fabric. I'll show you that when we get it all off. So here we are just taking the staples out. That's probably an unnecessary step unless you're like me and you just want it to look like it's brand new. Here's a more up close look at the fabric. It's just that boucle fabric in a creamy white color. Um, it's a nice thick fabric. I think it's gonna cover well. I thought about just going ahead and putting it straight over the striped that I already have. And so I think it's thick enough that nothing would show through. That was one thing I wanted it to be, a pretty thick fabric for that. And so I think I'm just gonna recover this completely. But on the top, I do think I'm gonna remove the fabric on the top just because it's already getting pretty bulky. And and so I think it might be better just to remove it. And then on the bottom part of the ottoman, I'm just going to recover what's already there. Here's a look at the before before. They were these this yellow color. They had some little buttons. It was kind of tufted on there. And um, so, yeah, that's what it looked like originally. I have two of these. One of them square and one of them is round. I actually will probably recover both of those. So we did take that top part off and I'm just sort of using it as a template. And I'm going to cut my fabric out and we'll get to recovering. I would say this definitely works best if you have some extra hands. Two people would work so well that way. One can just pull it really tight, work around the edges, straighten everything out. The other one can do the stapling. You want to have extra fabric around those edges so that you can pull it tight. And then you can always go back and trim that fabric when you get done. So I think it looks pretty good. You can just turn it over and you can see if you have any loose spots or some spots you need to kind of tuck in and straighten out. And you can always add some more staples. Once I get it the way I want it, get all those extra staples in, everything smoothed out, then I'm just gonna go in with some good scissors and trim all of that excess fabric. Then remember that black cover piece that I removed at the beginning. Now I'm just going to put it back down, staple it all the way around, and then it just looks like a brand new piece. Now I have a really big piece of fabric. I have two of these ottomans and I was hoping to recover both of them. I bought two yards of fabric. Two yards is not quite going to cover them both, I don't think. So I may end up having to go back and get just a little bit more. So that's why I have such a big piece there. So I just decided to do it in the floor. I thought that would be the best to get it cut. And I just cut with a little bit of excess on both sides. And then we're just kind of playing around and getting started seeing how we think it's going to work best. And um, so we're just stapling around top and bottom and we're just going to go all the way around and work our way smoothing everything out as we go. Mm -hmm. 
And what I ended up doing once we got to the end, I should have filmed this a little bit better, but I didn't, is I just folded it over for a nice straight seam. I just folded it over. And now what I did on the last time is I just ran a little bit of hot glue down that um, seam there. And this time it felt like it just really came together well. I don't know that I'm even going to do the glue. I feel like the seam looks good. This ottoman is not just really used a lot or handled a lot. So I really think that'll be fine. And then here's just a look at what it looks like around the edge. We'll go back in and make sure if we need to add any more staples or anything like that. But I really love the way it turned out. I think it's so cute. Love that fabric. I love the neutral color of it. It's very soft. Now, when I get those feet in, we'll get them stained and add them and I'll show you the finished product. So I ordered some of these feet from Amazon. I started getting a little bit antsy because they had not come in yet. So I found these at Lowe's. These are a little bit smaller size, I think, than the ones I ordered at Amazon. But I think I'm going to get these stained and um, just try them. I think they'll be cute on here. And then we'll get the Amazon ones in as well. We'll just see which ones we like better. I don't do a ton of staining, but this is my tried and true stain. This is the color I usually always go with, Early American. I love the Verathane brand in the stain. And so I'm just going to get a little bit of stain on these, see what they look like. Now, if it was like a big wood piece or something, I probably would put some pre-stain or some wood conditioner on there. But in this case, I'm just going to go straight to it. And I just like to use these blue shop towels to apply my stain. There's never any lint. And I'm just obviously going to use some gloves. And we're just going to get a coat on there and see what it looks like. So this is just one coat of that Early American. I'm not going to put any kind of top coat or anything on it. And this is the larger size that came from Amazon. This four pack was $20 and it came with all the hardware you need, even though we don't actually need the hardware. We're just going to screw these right in. But I love that larger size. I think it looks good. I'll put the smaller ones on the other ottoman that I have to recover. We just kind of use this as a door prop anyway. So I think that it turned out so cute. That's it for today's video, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Come and shopping with me and helping me recover this ottoman. I hope that you enjoyed. Be sure and come back next week. I do upload a new video every Thursday. We'll be back next week. Let me know down in the comments of anything that you want to see coming up. It's not quite time for fall videos yet. So anything you'd like to see in the meantime, leave me a comment and let's chat. I'll see you next week. Bye.